Hello everyone, you're watching Can You See Fish and welcome back to another episode of Dissecting Sodor. In this video we'll be taking a look at Toby's branch line, as I mentioned in the last video we'd be taking a look at it in this one. This is that video, so lo looking over here, this is where Toby's branch line starts, just past Bluffs Cove. In fact, uh, the wiki does actually state that it starts at Bluffs Cove, so it runs from Bluffs Cove up along Duck's branch line, where it then branches off at this junction here and then leads on to Tidmouth Bay. This is of course the castle area that Toby discovers in Toby's Discovery and it then reappears in uh, series 6 and also in Make Someone Happy from series 5. Moving further along we get to Tidmouth Bay Junction and if we go up this uh, side track here at the junction we get to Sodor Gold Co. This is of course where Bertram is found in Toby's Discovery. This was a, a mine originally uh, served by the Mid-Sodor Railway a long time ago, long before that episode takes place and yeah that is where Bertram um, Bertram is basically lives for since the railway closes and uh, it kind of reopens as a tourist attraction at the end of that episode. Moving back down, we pass along and get to Toby's windmill here, of course, uh, from the Series 7 episode of the same name. I don't think we really ever see it after that, but uh, it is a pretty nice windmill. And then moving further along, we get to the rickety old bridge. I believe that this is uh, what we... Toby crosses in... Toby had a little lamb, I believe, from Series 6, or Toby and the little lamb. I can't... I think it's Toby had a little lamb. Um, from Series 6. And I'm pretty sure it also did appear in, like, is it... Um, What's it called? Marvelous Machinery, that really bad uh, blubber thing. I, I don't know. It, it, I think it appeared in that. I'm not sure, though. Moving along, we get to Lower Arlesborough. This is one of those locations from Series 1 that is depicted as Toby's branch line. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, it's got like a little station and a small lake. This is part of that marshland area that we're getting into now. And uh, if we run along... We get to this area here where there's kind of a body of water. I believe that this is uh, this is Arlesdale Lake. This is now really uh, kind of in the mountains of Sodor. And also along here we have Arlesdale Castle, as you can just see, located here. Moving along, we get to Arlesdale End, which is also a branch for the Farquhar Quarry, which is technically on Thomas's branch line, but it's serviced by both Thomas's and Toby's branch line. And the rest of this here is also technically also Thomas's branch line. In a way, Thomas does run along here, as seen in um, Thomas Percy and the was it Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure, and I think it's called Mountain Adventure in the US dub because they like did the Thanksgiving thing. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, that's Arlesdale End. This is where Toby's shed is located. Um, at least series five onwards moving along we then get to the waterfall this is the waterfall scene a lot of characters are seen passing this one in uh, series three oliver thomas percy uh, james are all seen passing this waterfall here and this is also the waterfall that toby almost uh, goes over and pretty much dies in toby and the flood if harold hadn't and percy hadn't saved him uh, that's that there and moving further along we get the the dam from also from Toby and the Flood that burst its uh, bursts open in that episode, and of course all the 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 track floods and the bridge which is located just here. You can see uh, there is a bridge that passes over uh, kind of a body of water. I would I would guess that that was the bridge from Toby uh, Toby and the Flood, and then moving further along, we finally get to Ulfstead. This is the mountain village. Um, of course, seen in Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure, and then also later seen, it's also the village scene in Toby and the Flood at the start and the end where the kind of celebration party is held and where Percy meets Toby right at the start and he says, be careful and stuff. But yeah, yeah, that's um, that's Toby's line. Uh, it's quite a small line, really. And I'd say it's pr I said in the last video that Edward's branch line was the last well-known one. Uh, last well-known standard uh, standard gauge branch line but I do feel like Toby's really is I mean you wouldn't say it's well known but like if you say Toby people are obviously going to recognize it after this uh, we're going to get into the more obscure stuff so next episode I'm not sure what it's going to be I might do both the Norrenby branch and the Kirk Ronan branch because they're kind of uh, they're kind of, kind of quite small, or I might just do the Peel Godred line. Um, that's quite a that's quite like a long line, but I don't think there's actually too much on it on the map. 
But but yeah, um, let me know in the comments what line you'd want me to take a look at next. A standard gauge line. We're not doing Scar Lowy's, uh, the Scar Lowy Railway or the Midsold or the uh, the Caldy Fell or anything like that or the um, Miniature Railway, the Arsdale line. We're not doing anything like that yet. Just the standard gauge stuff. Let me know which line you want me to take a look at next. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more and like the video. You've been watching Can You See Fish? And until next time, goodbye.